William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Right, thank you very much for joining us here today to look ahead to what promises to be a terrific show on the 13th here over the road and it's going to be something special. Heavy duty, some of the best contests you could wish to see, two terrifically evenly matched contests and as we've seen at the weekend with what happened over in New York, the heavyweight division has a special magic and I'm sure that as a result of what did happen, it shows all these guys, Frank, that they are absolutely in the mix. They certainly are. <coughs> Excuse me. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, what happened the weekend? These are the guys. These are the next generation of guys coming through. The next crop of heavyweights is there to be gone. Um, I, we've got two, two really notable fights here, two really good quality fights. And I believe the two winners of these fights will be within the next eight months, so by the end of this year, they'll be in a position where they may be fighting for a world title. That is how this is moving. This is such a moving target, and I just feel that's going to happen. And these are, are two fights as well, which is, you can genuinely hold your hands up and say, I really don't know what is going to happen. I know what's going to happen. You're going to get some fireworks, fellas. These are, I mean, look at, look at them. I'm, you know, these are big guys, they're big punchers. You see, you see the weekend what happens. When big punchers get in the ring and let those bombs go, anything can happen. One big punch can change a whole fight, can change your career, change your life. Go and ask Andy Ruiz. He's changed his life completely. And that is what these guys have in their hands to do. Literally, it's in their hands. How much has the heavyweight landscape been changed as a result of, of what happened at the weekend? And how much does it maybe catapult these guys closer to the big fight. Well, for me, it hasn't changed at all. The number one heavyweight, in my opinion, always was Tyson Fury, and as it proved, that, that is the case now. You know, he, he definitely beat Deontay Wilder. He was, they gave it a draw, but I thought he won that fight, and Anthony Joshua, um, he's had, I've always said he's had flaws. I'm not knocking, knocking him. I've always felt he was easy to hit, and as, as that, that did happen, and you've got Andy Ruiz, and you look at it now, he's game, he's got fast hands, but do you think he's got the beating of Tyson Fury? I don't think he has. And, uh, and I don't think he's got the, I don't, I'm not too sure he's got the beating of Deontay Wilder. So they're the, they're the two. And I think these guys here, I'm, I'm seriously, as I said, these guys here, the winner of these fights here, they have the opportunity to become world champions. How close are they? After, after this, you've got some terrific fights coming up in July at the O2, which you're going to be able to watch live on BT Sport. But how close are these guys now, potentially, to world titles? Uh, the, the, win, the winners of the two fights will certainly get into a position where they'll be in the top five. So that's a, it's a matter of, you know, their, their, their representative pushing them and getting them into a mandatory position. And, and you look at you know you, you look at some of these divisions now. Um, and you look at the number you, know, you go from number one down to number four. That they'll they'll be in there. There's no doubt about that. You look at the fights that are coming up. You know, would one of them, would would I be worried about tomorrow and putting putting any of these guys in with Dillian White? No. And he's ranked number one in the world. I would not would make those fights in a heartbeat. And he's number one in the, in the WBO. I think it's number one in the BC as well. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the uh, the two big fights that we have. It's difficult to say what's top of the bill. Where do you start? I suppose we'd better go from outside inwards as to how people are sitting. Joe <coughs> against Bryant. Bryant's been around for a while. He's fought for a world title, went the distance, lost the decision to, uh, to Vladimir Klitschko. Joe still undefeated, doing everything that's been asked of him so far. It's, uh, it's absolutely what you want, this one, isn't it? The, the pick and fight. It's, it's, it's Joe's 10th fight. It's fine. We know he's got a lot of experience and uh, silver medalist. 
we know he's 33 years of age, but he still only had nine professional fights. So this is a big step up for him. He's confident of it. Um, I do believe that um, Bryant was, was winning the fight against Revis till the last round. He was winning the fight, no doubt about that. This is a big, big test for him, a big test. And you've not come over here to sit down, have you? Sit again. You've not come over here to sit on the floor. This is your, this is, this is your, down. This is your last chance saloon, so that's where we're at. This is a good fight. This is a good quality heavyweight fight. And it's a tough fight for, for Joe, and I take a half to him for taking it. Well, let's start with Bright. Welcome, uh, welcome to the UK, first of all. What's, uh, what's your thoughts on, the, on, on this fight that, uh, that you're facing come to your life? Well, you know, the UK is, has become, uh, you know, another, another one of my homes. You know, um, I've been here quite some time, but this is my first time actually fighting here. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor to be able to, you know, fight in such a fight at the O2. But you know, like like uh, like he said, I I didn't come here to lay down, and I'm quite sure the guys know that. So this will definitely be a great fight, for sure, for sure. And of course, if you get a win, you're right back into the mix. Yeah, right back into the mix. So I I rather, so I had a, I had a uh, another fight that was lined maybe for like June 13th or whatever, June 14th, and this opportunity came, and I I, I quickly accepted it. You know, not because of what I thought I could do. You know, that's that's automatic. But it's because that it's a it's a high quality fight. You know, it's like I come here and my, my goal here is to make is to fight great fights. And and to and it was high risk, good reward. You know, so it was like do I wanna fight a you know, a nobody or do I wanna fight a Joe Joyce? And say, Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's get there. I mean, because when when I become, you know, successful in that bout, it's like this guy just don't play. You know, he, he always willing to take the challenge and he comes and he brings his best every time. So. Yeah, you know you know what to expect with Joe. I mean he, he throws huge number of punches and physically mm -hmm. you're in for a hard a hard night. Yeah, well I mean I know you fun him, so I know you just gonna say a little bit more on that side, but uh no, it's not it's, 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 you know, tell her to take tells it all, you know? So just okay. Why do you find it so much then? Why do you, you obviously think you're going to win? How, why do you find I mean, I'm always confident in thinking I'm going to win. You know, that's, that's, that goes without saying. Um, and that's, that's, if that's how I should feel. You know, um, the whole, the statement of me not coming here to sit down is, it complements my statement just now. So, um, I mean, that's, that's automatic. You know, um, if I didn't come here and sit and, and be, and be, comp be as confident as I am, then it wouldn't make, such a great fight. We come here to sell this fight, and for sure, for sure, I'm doing more than just selling it. You know, I'm, I'm showing and telling you that this is this is this is real. Sam, as manager and working with uh, with Joe, you could have had uh, easier options in this fight. Yeah. Well, yeah, Joe could have had a lot of easier options, but right now, with Joe, the way Joe's progressing, he needed a, a competitive fight and. Thank you for taking the fight, bro. Not many people have been prepared to do so, but it's going to be a very, very big mistake. Um, there's only one winner, in my opinion, and he's in on, great. Your, on your behalf or my behalf. It's going to be a great fight. Brian comes to fight. I thought you were winning against Rivas. You, you're always, you're always in great shape. Um, you have a great diet. Mm -hmm. you live a good yeah, life. I, I see you on my Instagram. No, 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 you're a great guy, but the diet and the six pack can't save you at this fight, I'm afraid. And you will get falafel wrapped. Listen, talk, talk is cheap. Good, yeah. good opinion, good opinion. Right, it's just an opinion. Talk is cheap. Yeah, it's just an opinion. Yeah, but like we said, we're here to sell the fight. 100%. Yeah. And I expect you to save whatever you got to say. You know, uh, it's all good, you know. Yeah, I, exactly. that, that type of stuff may never... Ain't never, ain't never no, what you saying? Like he was, he was winning the fight. It's really you're, you're, you oh, said yeah. you've lost, I think, three, three or four times to yeah. top, top level fighters. Right. We, we, we don't want a, 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 an easy fight. Joe doesn't want an easy fight. You're not an easy fight, but you're going to get run over. Well, I would. It would sound better if it comes out of Joe's mouth. Well, let's see if it is going to come out of Joe's mouth. Go on. The, the well, yeah, is yours, Joe. Is this even on? Yeah, the uh, juggernaut's here, and um, you know how, how I do, man. I throw a lot of punches, uh, and punches with force. So, you know, I'm here, and um, yeah, you're gonna get one over. 
Yeah. Hey, 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 then, we, then I answer the question when I was just saying, you know, like the one dimensional type thing, you know, maybe, you know, you might have to go to some alternatives, but, uh, you know, I mean, why are you trying to complicate it? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to complicate it. I'm just saying I'm just hoping that you have some alternatives because uh, a lot of things in this game is just not yeah. as easy as they seem. So I just hoping. I uh, listen. I'm giving you game, but this is green bus. You find him that this is um, green bus. Run over like a truck. I'm very experienced. So if plan A doesn't work, I've got B, C, D, E. Uh, well, that's that's what you have to make sure that you implement. So come right come right out from plan B because that plan one shit ain't gonna work. You can't come out like this though, like you normally do, because he punched behind the guard. He ran right around right your ears. Big problem. So can you that. fight? Because I can't. Right, right, right. Let me see. We have, <laughs> we have, we have, we have, okay, we have John, we have, we have Frank, and then we have the four fighters. What are you doing? How are you doing? Well, get in, get in the stance, because you seem like you're the mouthpiece. <laughs> For Joe, let Joe talk. We, we, was on, listen, we was on a boat ride. Don't worry listen, 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 listen. We was on a boat ride. We looked each other in the face. That I'm no, ride. Listen, I'm quite sure that me and Joe could go back and forth with the words without without an ad lib. Don't okay. worry about me. Let's hear. Don't worry about me. Let, let's hear a bit more from Joe. Then. <laughs> what do you think of Brian as a fighter? You've had a chance to see him. He's had high profile, had high profile fights. What do you reckon to? Him? Yeah, I've had a look at uh, a brief look at. You know what he what he brings to the table, and um, you know we started in the gym to, you know, really like dissect his uh, performances and where I can capitalise and, and stuff like that. And um, he's you know he's a he's a big name. He's fought some really good guys, and uh, you know he's got a, a decent record and that. So it's you know it's going to be a really good test. Yeah. What's the key though? Where are you better? So where, where are you better than him? What's going to be the key? Well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait and see uh, Saturday night, but. Um, yeah. Oh, not this yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, you're just going to have to see. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's going to get John Lloyd. But uh, we'll, we'll, I mean, I mean, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's a, uh, you know, it's a challenge, and we're going to rise to the occasion, and right. you know, uh, do uh, do my best. Right. He understands that talk is cheap, but the sidekick doesn't. So I respect that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and uh, and, and the, uh, the smiling sidekick as well. <laughs> That t shirt's blinding my eyes. <laughs> he must have got a three wheel motorcycle outside. No, 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 I'm scared of my bikes, mate. No. You, you know, like the little, the little, what's the little thing on Loped the side? Moped, moped. No, the little thing on the side from the three wheel motorcycle. You know, like side sidecar. Sidecar, yeah. You in the sidecar with the little helmet. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> we'll take you out for a steak, well actually not a steak for you, we'll have a, whatever you eat, I don't know, some yeah. plant-based burger, we'll yeah, take I'm you out for dinner afterwards. Mm -hmm. Same thing, I eat the same thing a gorilla eats. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. You are one of the highest These? profile vegans in world sport, that's yes, right? Yes, yes indeed. Yes, uh, since, since when? When did you...? Uh, 2015, I fought Pisco vegan. What was the What was the thought process, which I, I know the... the you know, maybe the boxing aficionados aren't into this, but mm -hmm. there are people beyond that who would be interested in your diet. What, what mm -hmm. prompted you to go down that route? Well, you know, it's just the contaminant. See, we over here in the UK, so over here is, is, is quite different from, you know, foods and, and things that they allow in the foods in the United States. So um, <clears throat> I just think that, you know, as far as like what they put in them and uh, what they inject them with, you know, like people that eat meat in the United States are full of drugs. So when I ask somebody, when somebody asks me, when you're about my diet, I tell them I'm drug free. And then I tell them that they're full of drugs and they can't understand. That's like a sarcastic um, comp uh, comment to Be them. Be aware, just being aware. Yeah, that's like, a, that's like a sarcastic comment to them. And me saying that they're full of drugs is because they eat me and they eat everything that's pumped with, with drugs. If you go to my Instagram, BY Jennings, you know, um, yeah, they got it right there. That, that was a good look though too. Um, if you go there, uh, one of my last few videos, it shows how it shows how the uh, the meats are injected with hormones and, and stimulants and, and, and steroids and stuff like that. And if you eat that, it becomes part of you. You are what you eat. So I eat live and living things. I don't eat things that are dead. Because if you leave a crab out or a fish out on a table for 24 hours, it's going to smell hor horrible. And if it puts it in your body, and your body is your body your body temperature is much higher than actual room temperature then your body is just having all of those all of those things inside you and i don't want that so i'm i'm, I'm good i eat clean look good 230 look like i'm 180. you felt as, as as fit and as strong as as a vegan as you did as a meat teacher or do you feel better yeah i feel better i feel more, more clearly and think more clarity and thinking and it's longevity i don't i don't do things to to try to impress improve myself with the next week it's longevity so things are going to pile up pile up pile up and when i get your age i get to look as good as y'all Let's go. Thank you very much. You're All saying right. the right things. <laughs> <laughs> my my Tinder photograph. Frank, let's move let's move on to the uh, to the British title fight. Daniel Dubois and Nathan Gorman going for the vacant title. Lovely to hear from Joe and from Bryant and what uh, promises to be an even fight and again this is an absolute pick and fight with Daniel and Nathan. Well it is, we, you know, <coughs> we've talked about it quite a bit now but it is what it is. These two guys are undefeated, they've got fire in their bellies, they want to go to the next level and one of them's in the way of the other. You know? And, and it's, I was just looking at our, our blurb here in the, uh, in the press release, it says here these are the three best British prospects in heavyweight boxing. And they're all in action on the O2. That's not true. They're the three best heavyweight prospects in the world. That's what they are. Not just Britain in the world. You've been promoting for a long time, and it's uh, it's uh, it's obviously a, a, a money-making business. We're trying to trying to put on a, a good show, but you're also you don't do it for this length of time without being passionate about boxing. As a as a boxing fan, I mean, I'm genuinely excited by the fights that are coming up. Well, so am I. It doesn't get any better than this, does it? You know, you've got the three British guys are all undefeated. You know, all their records are on the line. Their futures are on the line, as I've, I've said earlier. These are really good matchups. No one, but no one can criticise them. 
There's no one. These are the, these are really great matchups for, for the guys, for the fans, and at this stage of their career, how many fighters take these risks? If you think about how many fighters take these risks? Well, let's hear from the two guys. The fight date is getting closer. July the 13th is what we're talking about at the O2. First of all, from uh, from Nathan, you, it's a fight. This one from word go. Ricky, your trainer, Ricky Hatton, has told me that from word go, you always wanted this fight. Yeah, definitely, John. You know, it's a fight I've always wanted from day one. You know, the minute I knew Daniel's turning over, I'm turned over. I said to him in the gym, uh, he'll tell you himself, you know, it's the fight I wanted. I must be fair, it's here now, we're just over five and a half weeks away. And to be honest with you, I'm counting down the days. It's a, it's a, terif it's a terrific card. You know, uh, obviously me and me and Daniel headlining for the most prestige belt, in my opinion, in boxing, you know, the Lord Lonsdale belt. And then you've got Joyce and uh, Jennings on the undercard. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a massive night there too, and I'm lo really looking forward to it. Why did you always want Daniel, when you turned over, why was he the one you were looking at, thinking, "Yeah, I'll have it"? Because I, I, I know what I know what kind of fight it's going to be. You know, we know each other. You know, from the spa, from the spa, from the sparring, the training up in G, the, the GB, we know each other. It's going to be an exciting fight. You know, it's going to the, the winner is the fans, as they say. Give give us a, a little bit of an idea from your memory of how those long sparring sessions went because there must have been literally hundreds of rounds you've had without a doubt we was on gb together probably two to three years uh, he'll tell you himself and at, at the gb team i'll spar probably six to eight rounds a day you you acquire that over that long period two to three years you, you, you build up some rounds and some like, experience with each other don't you so uh, we got to know the inside and outs of each other and generally each spar we wanted to, 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 to do damage on each other because everything was competitive with me and daniel you know the bag work, the run, the sparring, everything was competitive. How did that sparring go? I felt like I had the upper hand in every round. Every round, literally yeah, every round. I felt like I never, I never lost a round. Let's uh, hear from Daniel then with the big fight uh, coming up. He never lost a round, is this true? Um, really, it makes no um, difference um, for this fight, whatever it is to say. Or or things about what happened in the past or inspired. Uh, I'm just looking forward to um, you know, showing what I can do in the fight now. What do you remember of that time, or would you say that it's irrelevant now? It's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. So how much have you how much have you changed then since the amateur days in your opinion in your opinion? Uh, I, I think I've changed a lot, you know. Being a pro professional fighter has allowed me to Really, you know, breathe as a fighter, and, you know, you know, stretch my wings out, and you know, learn and you know, just understand more and more about boxing in different ways. So it's, it's allowed me to get more experience that I needed, and um, something, you know, from the day I started boxing, I've always professional boxing, heavyweight champion of the world was always on my mind. So now that I'm here, I'm correct, you know, I'm chasing that, chasing the goal. Working with uh, with Martin down at the uh, down at the Peacock, you think as a professional, you've you've added different layers to yourself as a fighter. Definitely, I've you know from from day one, it's just been building a building process, and yeah, you know after since you know my last couple of fights, my last <coughs> couple of tests, I think I've you know just improved and you know more and more experience I've got. So. A lot of people have said to me, you know, who wins it, and they've said it's boxer against a guy who might be physically bigger, physically stronger, might be, I'm not saying he necessarily is, but is, is that the way you see it? No, not, you know, I think I do definitely have the advantages in power and um, speed and everything, you know, it plays a massive part in the fight, but I think there's a lot more to, to my game than what people have seen so far. You think you have the advantage in speed? Yeah, I, I think, you know, on my game, I'm, I'm faster than probably I'm, I'm match any of the fastest heavyweights out there. He thinks he's faster than you, Nathan. Definitely not. Come on, come on, Dan. You know that not to be true. You know, like, come on. You ain't faster than me. We'll see on the night. Well, we are. We are, obviously we are going to see on the night clearly, but 
you definitely ain't faster than me. You, you know that. Listen, listen, this is the truth. The truth is, all these can tell you what you want to know, but you know deep down, deep down, you know exactly what it is. Can I keep listening to you guys trying to hide you up and everything? Hey, listen, no, I'm, 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 listen, I'm my own man. I have no one. It's fine. You can make it my own. I have no, no one. I'm just ready for a fight. Good. Good. Okay. We're going to find oh. out on the 13th. That's for sure. 13th of July, we're going to find out. What about, what about just boxing ability? Do you think you've got the edge there? Yeah, in my, in my, my personal mind, John, I have the edge in every, 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 every way he's got, you know, I have an answer for. I really do, you know, um, I've got full confidence going into this fight. I wouldn't have took this fight if I thought I was going to get pulmonized in one round. You know what I mean? I could earn money somewhere else. The reason I took this fight is because in my own heart and mind, I believe I'm taking that belt back home with me. And for me, Daniel is a, uh, I'm on a destination and Daniel's little stop, I just got to get past. Listen, it's a good test. Very good test because he's a good fighter. You know, I'm not going to criticise him. He's a good fighter. You wouldn't be in the position to fight for a British title if you're not a good fighter. But I beat my style beats him, in my opinion. You know, I fully believe this. That my style does beat him, and when I beat him, I'll progress onto the world stage. Then, what would it mean to you to get the British title, Danny? Um, you know, a very prestigious belt, and you know, it's good. You know, I get another title and. You know, as more recognition to my name, um, I can push on then and maybe win outright or move on. We just see where the next step is, but one step at a time. And the chance, it is a chance to get people talking about you and to move closer, as Frank was saying earlier, to that potential world title shot. Definitely. Um, I think these are, they're reaching out these goals and um, one performance after another, and, you know, I really can't wait. And, yeah, it's going. It's exciting. I'm out. I feel, I feel really excited, and I can't wait to sh put on a show. Did you see that uh, that Andy Ruiz win coming? Um, no, like probably most other people, I didn't. You know, I, I I didn't pay too much attention to the fight. To be honest, I wasn't overly excited about the fight. Um, I thought a part of me, you know, I've had a lazy view to it. It's formality. Joshua wins probably, but. You know, I'm not one to watch other people's paths, that's Joshua's path. And you know, that's 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 the um that was that's for him really, so I not much more to say on the map. Terrific fight coming up then between these two lads and they clearly both fancy it massively, Frank, and that's a, that's a, that's a key. It certainly is. They've got tremendous self belief to both of them and uh, someone's will will have to give way. On the, on, on the 13th across the road there, so we're all looking forward to it, and it's going to be, and I know it's going to be a great night. It's a great night for the boxing fans, seeing these big guys getting in the ring, you know, entertaining the fans. That's what boxing's all about. Tickets available, finally. Tickets are finally available, and we want to thank, you, uh, say thank you, by the way, to our uh, sponsors, 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and also to BT Sport for all the help that they give us in making these events happen and bringing the great and bringing the best boxing to the British fans. You're going to be able to watch it live on BT Sport and of course the best option to be able to be actually here in person. Those tickets are available. July the 13th is the heavy duty night at the O2 Arena and we'll uh, do all one-to-one -one interviews in uh, the minutes ahead. Sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.